In this video, we'll write the name for Ca3PO32. So when we look at this, we note we have a metal and a group of nonmetals. This group of nonmetals here is a polyatomic ion. So a metal and nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. So for an ionic compound, we're going to write the name for the metal first. That's the calcium. And then we'll write the name for that polyatomic ion here. So you've either memorized that PO3 is the phosphite ion, or you're allowed to look that up on a table of ions. So PO3, phosphite. So the name for Ca3PO32 is calcium phosphite. The reason we have three calciums and two of these phosphite ions is calcium on the periodic table is in group two. It's two plus the whole phosphate ion that has a three minus ionic charge. Two times three minus, that's six minus. Three times two plus, that's six plus. So these numbers, they add up to zero. They give us a net charge of zero for the compound. That's why we need three calcium atoms. This is Dr. B writing the name for Ca3PO32. It's calcium phosphite. Thanks for watching.